One quiet embrace, then another. It's this type of love from her neighbors in the now infamous Canfield Green Apartments that keeps Michael Brown's mother hopeful she'll one day see justice in the killing of her son. Leslie McSpatton wasn't here to talk to the media. She said she just needed a little time to reflect on her son's life. I'm just coming up here to, you know, think about my son. That's it. I just needed, like, you know, a moment, but I didn't want to do all of that. And that's quite understandable because here is where her 18-year-old son lived and died. I'm here at the spot where Michael Brown was shot and killed right here in the middle of the street. Moments after we arrived today, a group, we don't know who they are, where they came from, but they started laying out these red roses that now stretch about a block and a half. Residents came out to pick from them in honor of Michael Brown. What do you think people are, are feeling when they come here and see this? Sadness and joy at the same time. It's sadness and joy at the same time. This complex is filled with young black men close in age to Brown, struggling to process the circumstances before and after his death. Trey Davison was here on that day, too. All I seen was a, a bunch of people gathered around here and angry people, people ready to go at the police, people ready to go at whoever, people just mad. They his body still here? His body was here for about four and a half hours. Was it covered? No, it wasn't covered. It was laying right in the middle of the street, blood leaking from the body, and they just left him there, lying on that hot concrete like he was a dog. It could have been you, it could have been me, any, any one of us. I'm not out here just because, you know, it, it, it hit home, like, you know, like this heart felt. And just to come out here and see all of this, man, like, it's, it, it's just hurtful and it's saddening. You, you do love me. There are songs, prayers, and candles tonight in Ferguson, but some fear tomorrow may be a different story. And we're going to be left with them angry cops and us broke citizens, black citizens, not part of the process. Y'all going to be gone. What do you think is going to happen when this LED light go off and you fly out of here tomorrow? And I get pulled over for driving while black. I'm Tim Lampley, reporting for News One.